hope you're ready to create some art. Today we're going to do an awesome printmaking project. And if you're not familiar with printmaking, it's basically a process where you create a printing plate and then you can make copies of your artwork. And this is my printing plate of a city I created. And then this is my finished work of art where I created a background and printed it on there. This is a great way to make posters for an event or if you want to make copies to give to family and friends for gifts, printmaking is a great way to do that. So now I'm going to show you how to get started. The supplies you'll need for today's project are a piece of paper, mine is 9 by 12, and some watercolors for the background. Also, if you're planning on doing a night sky, you could include um, a couple of crayons in your design, um, but you don't have to do that. That's optional. And then you'll need a pencil, some sort of styrofoam tray. You can buy them um, online suppliers or like restaurant supply, or you can simply like wash one that you've gotten at the grocery store with meat on it, wash it really good with soap and water, and you could use that. Um, you'll need either thick paint or ink, and then a small brayer. Um, these can be bought at like arts and crafts stores or online, and then a pair of scissors. And we're gonna start out with creating a background today. Um, for our print. And I wanna to talk to you just a little bit about what printmaking is. Printmaking is basically the art of making prints from some sort of printing plate or block. And that's what we'll be using the styrofoam tray for. That will be our printing plate. And this is the paper that we're going to print on. And instead of just printing on plain white paper, we are going to create um, a background of a sky and an ocean or water. And so I'm gonna begin by folding my paper in half and the reason I'm doing this is it will simply divide the land or the water from the sky. And so that's why I folded it in half. And so the top half will be sky and the bottom part will be water. And I'm gonna go ahead while it's dry and trace this shape onto my styrofoam tray. That way, when I cut out my city that we're gonna draw onto the styrofoam in a little bit, it will fit perfectly onto my paper and line up. And so you can just take a pencil, hold the paper that you folded in half still, and you might need to trim your paper. You just work it out so that your styrofoam fits onto the paper twice. Because we'll have the city itself and then we're gonna have a reflection below. And it'll all make more sense in a minute. Okay, so that will be our printing plate and we'll cut the sides off in a little bit. And now we're ready to paint or draw our background. And you could um, do this with marker or a, a different medium. I've chosen to go with watercolor because I like um, the way the ink prints on top of the watercolor. And at the top of my paper, and you won't be able to see them right now, I'm just adding some little um, white dots for stars. I'm gonna do a night sky above the water you could do things like um, you could have a rainbow in the sky, you could have clouds, you could have rain. Um, there's lots of different options. And so I'm going with little stars. Um, when you do this technique, the wax from the crayon, um, the, it will resist the paint. And so the paint will not stick to it when you paint the watercolor over it. Um, so that's just kind of a fun technique to use when you're working with watercolor. And I'm just doing them at the very top of my paper because this part here will be the buildings. And so the buildings would cover up. If I drew stuff here, it really wouldn't, it would be a waste of time because it would get covered up later by the print. And so that's why I'm just kind of including them at the top of the page. Okay, so now that I've got the wax heavy on the paper from the crayon, I can go ahead and start painting over my design and I'm going to use some purples. We don't want to use black in our sky because I'm using black printing ink then it wouldn't show and so I'm going to be using um, some magenta and purple for the sky and I'm going to start down at that line where I folded the paper and from this point I will just continue painting the background, the colors I would like in the sky and then the colors I want for the water. So 
now that I've finished my background, I'm going to lay it to the side so that it can dry and it will be time for me to start working on the printing plate. And you remember earlier, I drew the line that fits onto half of the paper and I said I would trim off the edge. And so that's what I'll do at this point. I'm going to take my scissors and cut. And sometimes it's difficult to cut the styrofoam. If this piece right here kind of gets in the way of your movement, you can simply fold it up and pop it off like that and just put the pieces to the side. And it's okay if your edges aren't perfectly straight. It's not really going to matter when you print. Okay, so now I've got my styrofoam ready, and this is when you get to begin drawing out the city. And I've got two different kinds of pencils. This one is a mechanical pencil with a really thick lead that will probably work fine, but you may need to have um, a regular pencil. I know um, a smaller mechanical pencil does not work well, and I'm just going to go with the traditional. And I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my design, and we want our buildings to be big on the styrofoam. We don't want them to be really small. And at first, I'm going to lightly draw the buildings out um, into the styrofoam, so if I don't like what I've drawn, it won't really show up. Until we press it deeply into the styrofoam, um, when we print, the lines won't show if they're really shallow. And so I can draw lightly at first. Then I can go back and add details to my buildings um, to make them interesting. We want to add lots of different texture. And if you're not sure what texture means, texture is basically how something feels or um, looks like it would feel that way. And so like on buildings, you can create brick as a texture. Um, you could have like a building that looks like it's made of smooth glass windows, but Textures are like hard, soft, bumpy, rough, smooth. And so the more textures that you add in your artwork, the more interest it has. And so by adding things like windows and bricks, doors, all those details add different textures within your picture. And so you wanna add all those details. And so at this point, I'm gonna keep drawing buildings. I'm gonna make sure that I go in and overlap some of my buildings. Like I could have a building back here and when we overlap, we just stop drawing. When we run into the next one, we just simply stop and then continue the building behind there. And so I'll do that and overlap my buildings. And then I will go back and kind of press down with my pencil like this into the styrofoam. It just makes a deep edge. And sometimes it's gonna curve on you and not be perfectly straight and that's okay. It kind of gives it some character when you print. But you can rub it back and forth. You don't wanna press so hard that it goes all the way through. But I'll go ahead and draw the rest of my buildings before I continue making my lines deep. So now I've carved my lines deeply into my styrofoam and if I run my hand across it I can feel all those textures. You should be able to feel each line. If you can't that probably means you haven't pressed down deep enough. But notice even though they're deep it does not go through the back of the styrofoam. And so if it's starting to go through the styrofoam that means you're pressing too hard. Now I'm going to cut off my negative space that's left at the top of the city and I've purposely connected all my buildings so that I'll have one solid piece here. The reason we need to get rid of this is when we print it onto the paper, anywhere that there is white styrofoam, it will print black. And so that means there would be a big solid black area printed above my city, which we don't want because we've painted a nice starry sky. And so I will take my scissors and just kind of get rid of that empty space, that negative space. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have um, my city is ready to print and now I need to prepare um, the ink. And I've got an extra tray. You can also use just like a piece of aluminum foil wrapped around a book or just a solid surface um, to put your ink or your thick paint onto to print with. And so I'm gonna, it's kinda like putting toothpaste on your toothbrush. You don't wanna get too much. So I'm gonna start out with this. If it's not enough, we can add more in a second. But especially if you're using printing ink, you see how thick and, and goopy it is. You kind of have to work with it for a minute to kind of loosen it up and get it to spread thin. And so we want a nice even coat on our tray. That means when we put it on the brayer that we get a nice even coat on the brayer as well, which means that our print will print clearly. So now that my tray looks like I've got a good amount of ink, I'm going to roll the ink onto my printing plate, because this is my finished printing plate, and we will be able to see the design so clearly when we do this. This is the exciting part. And so there it is. And then you have to kind of keep getting more ink on the brayer. And make sure you cover every little part that you want to print, because if you miss a spot, it's not gonna show up. So like right here where it's white, if I don't get ink there, that means when I print it in a little bit, it, that part just simply wouldn't even be in there. It would just be an empty spot in the middle of the city, which we don't want. So take time making sure that you have good coverage. Once you are happy with your coat of ink, and notice I didn't get it too thick. If I would have gotten it too thick, then it will get in your small lines and ruin your print. So it's better to not have enough ink um, on your tray at first than to have too much. Because once you've got too much ink on there, it's hard to go back. All right, so I've got a nice even coat. I'm gonna lay my printing ink to the side and I am going to print onto my background. And I'm gonna do the first print at the top. So I'm gonna take this, flip it over, and I'm gonna line up the bottom of the city with the line in the middle of my paper. Just like that. And at this point, you have to apply a lot of pressure because the printing ink is very thick and sticky. It doesn't wanna just come off of the foam onto your paper, and so you have to force it to come off of the foam onto the paper. So what that means is if there's an area that I don't press down on, it's not gonna show up in that area. And so now I'm just gonna spend a few minutes making sure that I press down each little area of my print before I ever lift it off the page. Okay, so hopefully I've done a good job of pressing down and I'm gonna carefully peel it off of the paper and we will see what my city looks like. And there it is at the top. And then we will apply another coat of ink. And at this point you might need to apply um, a little more ink on the tray, not as much as you did at first, but a little bit more. And on the reflection, which it's not gonna be a true reflection at the bottom because our buildings won't line up exactly because it's, you know, upside down, it's gonna be not the exact same image, um, but it still looks at first glance like a reflection. But we don't have to press down as hard because a reflection would not be perfect and it would kind of be spotty. In some places it would be clear and in other places it wouldn't. And so we don't have to get as perfect a print on the bottom since it's just a reflection. So I've got some ink on there now. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time worrying about how perfect or even it is since we're just doing the reflection. And then I will line this back up in the middle. And I'm just gonna kinda do my hand and kind of this back and forth pattern and kind of press down like that and that's all I'm going to do for my reflection and then pull it off and there is my completed city print complete with the reflection at the bottom in the water. I hope you had fun.
fun with printmaking today. I would love to see the results. Share them with me on social media. You can find me at Samantha Wood Art. Also, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative content. Thanks.